Mayor Adams doubling down on his decision to veto the city council's How Many Stops Act. All right, Fox 5's Antoine Lewis was at his weekly off topic press briefing and has more on what he has to say to anyone questioning his move. We stand united in support of this important reform and against the mayor's veto. City Council Speaker Adrian Adams leading a rally from City Hall Tuesday protesting Mayor Adams' veto last week of the so-called How Many Stops Act, which would require police to document more detailed information about their interactions with civilians. Supporters say the bill increases transparency, particularly in black and brown communities. Adams, along with critics of the bill, say it will take time away from the officers doing their jobs, protecting and serving New Yorkers, which prompted his veto on Friday. But on Tuesday from the Blue Room, he signaled he may be willing to reconsider if the bill is amended to exclude the lowest level of officer engagement, level one encounters. If they would have left out that term level one and said, here are the stops we want recorded, now you got a, a conversation. Uh, level ones are the bill. That's, that, that's the bill. You have to get all of the information as simply as possible. It's the same bill you supported just a few years ago. The level one issue, which is the only issue that we have with this bill is not a stop. It's not going to provide any information about stop and frisk. New York City law states that a two-thirds city council majority is needed to overturn a mayoral veto. Mayor Adams standing firm. When I speak to city council members, if they were able to vote with their conscience, they would not be supporting this bill. I know that their communities don't believe this. Speaker Adams standing firm as well. And we look forward to overriding it together. So, time will tell if the mayor's willingness to find common ground will be warmly received by city council or not. We'll keep you updated, but for now, we're at City Hall. Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.